Hello everybody, it's the Stranger Gamer back for another match by tournament! In this clash we have Tabletop in Team Asia squaring off against Spitfire. Team Asia yet to lose in this tournament, and Spitfire only suffering one defeat so far. This could be a cl this could be a good match. A win here for Team Asia will see them will see them qualify for the last 16. While a win for Spitfire will see them join join Team Asia up top of the table. A bonus point win for Spitfire will see them top the table. Anyway, up first for Team Asia we have Cytania Dino Tector with that moveset and we've seen what it can do. And backing up the psych we have Sinraptor, heroic type. And this guy has pulled his weight as well, quite coherent team Team Asia. <laughs> but it's going to be tough because in the blue corner for Spitfire we have Parasaurolophus, defense type. We've seen our defense type resilience from the Parasaurolophus so already this tournament. And with the Parasaurolophus having the type advantage over the Cychania, it could be crucial that matchup. And backing up the Parasaurolophus we have Edmontonia, crisis type. Very basic moveset, very strength based moveset these two, based on attack. But it seems to have worked so far. Seems to be based on brute strength, but that seems to have worked so far for Spitfire. So, but will it work in defeating Team Asia? Let's find out. Ooh, that's not a good start for Spitfire as the Cychania gets off a crypt. Oh, and the galley comes in for galley rush. Sounded like a duck. That, yeah, you can see that defense tightness. Very little damage to seem to the Parasaur of us. Even though I was a crit. The elemental power activating. Although I don't think Cychania's crit damage is very high. I think it's more of an all-rounder. Anyway. The Parasaur of us strikes back with a Kamikaze Tackle. This should do moderate damage. Wow. I did about the same amount of damage. Even match so far, but the Cychania gets off an earthquake. And the galley comes in for galley rush again. But remember, since Parasaurus does have the type advantage, it shouldn't sustain too much damage. And it and its defense type trait as well. Stacked on top. About the same as the critical move. Ah, but Elemental Power probably had a role to play in that. Oh, I think this might be Parasaur Office out. Oh, the Galley Rush coming in again. Let's have a look. Oh, I think it's just going to survive. But man, you can see that defensive resilience of the Parasaur Office coming into play there. As a Sign Raptor gets off a support effect. Which means a tie will do Spitfire no good. However, that will do him a lot of good. As the egg attack comes into play, and the Parasaur Office will get a swap out into Edmontonia. That could be a critical turning point in this match. But remember, Spitfire's got to watch out for this bar at the bottom. If it gets full, it's Dino Tech to and, and also take note that the Cychania is not allowed to swap out since it's an armor dinosaur. Oh, it's Dino Tech to Cychania down. And the bar filled up and it didn't matter. Oh, the Edmontonia gets off an atomic bomb. It's all up to Sign Raptor now for Team Asia. As our Parasaurus slowly regains its health. I mean, it's not going to matter because Sign Raptor has a type advantage. Ooh, ooh. Hold on a minute. This might be it. 
A mole attack coming in from Spitfire. I don't think it should kill Simon. Oh, it does. <laughs> wow. Well, brute strength has worked for Spitfire again as he could. A, a bonus point win over Team Asia. And we'll top Pool C with two games to go. I think that might be him into the last 16 as well. Well, Team Asia's first defeat of the tournament was a sound one. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.